Hey, I'm Jessica. Before I dive into this wild story, do me a solid and hit that subscribe button, all right? Trust me, you're gonna wanna stick around for this drama. I'm 28, killing it in the marketing game, and thought I had my life pretty much figured out. Boy, was I wrong. It all started when my family decided to have this big reunion at our grandparents' lakeside house. Sounds nice, right? Well, let me tell you, it was anything but. There's my baby sister, Megan. She's 24, still trying to find her way in life, but we've always been tight. Like, finishing each other's sentences tight. Then there's our cousin, Ryan. He's 30, a hotshot lawyer with a smile that could charm the pants off anyone. But let me tell you, that guy's got more secrets than a government facility. Jess, you excited for the reunion? Megan asked me while we were packing. Yeah, sure. Can't wait to see Grandma's famous apple pie go flying when Uncle Bob gets too drunk again, I joked. But honestly, I had this weird feeling in my gut. Something was off, and I couldn't put my finger on it. Fast forward to the reunion. Everyone's hugging, laughing, catching up. But Ryan? He's giving me these looks. You know the kind like he's trying to figure out if I know something I shouldn't. Hey, cuz. Long time no see, he said all smooth-like. Yeah, Ryan. How's the lawyer life treating you? Oh, you know. Putting away bad guys. Saving the world. The usual. I rolled my eyes so hard I thought they might get stuck. That's when I noticed it. Every time Megan walked by, Ryan's eyes would follow her and not in a normal cousiny way. It was different. As the day went on, I kept catching these little moments between them, whispered conversations that stopped as soon as anyone got close, lingering touches that seemed way too intimate for family. Megan, everything okay? I asked her after dinner. Yeah, of course, why wouldn't it be? She answered way too quickly, not meeting my eyes. Later that night, I couldn't sleep. I went downstairs for some water, and that's when I heard it. Hushed voices coming from the porch. We can't keep this a secret forever, Ryan. Shh, Megan, we've talked about this. No one can know, okay? My blood ran cold. What the hell were they hiding? As I stood there, frozen, I knew one thing for sure. This family reunion was about to get a whole lot more complicated. The next morning, I woke up feeling like I'd been hit by a truck. The conversation I overheard kept replaying in my head. As I walked downstairs, the house was already buzzing with activity. Aunt Linda was fussing over the breakfast spread, while Uncle Bob was already cracking open a beer. Jessica, honey, come help me with these plates, Grandma called out. As I helped set the table, I couldn't help but notice Ryan hovering around Megan. He'd place his hand on her lower back when no one was looking or whisper something in her ear that made her giggle nervously. It made my skin crawl. During breakfast, I kept a close eye on them. Ryan practically growled when our cousin Matt tried to sit next to Megan. This seat's taken, he snapped. After breakfast, I saw Megan head upstairs. This was my chance. I waited a few minutes, then followed her up. Her phone was on the bed and she was in the bathroom. I know it was wrong, but I had to know what was going on. I grabbed her phone and started scrolling through her messages. What the hell are you doing? I spun around to see Megan standing in the doorway, her face a mix of anger and fear. Megan, I... I'm sorry, but I heard you and Ryan last night. What's going on? Her face crumpled. Oh God, Jess. I didn't want you to find out like this. So it's true? You and Ryan? She nodded tears streaming down her face. Please, you can't tell anyone. Ryan says it'll ruin everything if people find out. I was stunned. Megan, he's our cousin. This is so messed up. I know, I know, but I love him, Jess. Please, promise me you won't say anything. Before I could respond, a shadow fell across the doorway. Ryan. Everything okay in here, ladies? His voice was calm, but his eyes were cold. Ryan, we need to talk. I said, trying to keep my voice steady. He glanced at Megan. Why don't you go help Grandma with the dishes, babe? I'll handle this. As soon as Megan left, Ryan's demeanor changed completely. He grabbed my arm hard. Listen here, Jessica. What happens between me and Megan is none of your business. 
You keep your mouth shut or I'll make sure you regret it. I yanked my arm away. Are you threatening me? You're sick, Ryan. This ends now. I tried to push past him, but he blocked the doorway. You're not going anywhere. We struggled and somehow ended up at the top of the stairs. The rest of the family was gathering in the living room below, oblivious to the drama unfolding above them. Move, Ryan. I'm telling everyone the truth, his face contorted with rage. Like hell you are! And then, everything happened in slow motion. I felt his hands on my shoulders, a hard shove, and suddenly I was falling. The last thing I saw was the shocked faces of my family looking up at me before everything went black. The first thing I noticed when I woke up was the beeping. Steady, annoying beeps that made my head throb even more. I tried to move, but a sharp pain shot through my arm. That's when I realized where I was. A hospital bed, my arm in a cast, and my head feeling like it was stuffed with cotton. Oh, thank God, you're awake! Mom's voice thick with tears. I blinked, trying to focus. What? What happened? Dad's face appeared, his expression grim. You fell down the stairs at the reunion. Ryan... Ryan pushed you. The memories came flooding back. Ryan, Megan, the affair, the argument, the fall. Where's Megan? I croaked. Mom and Dad exchanged looks. Honey, there's something you should know. Turns out, after I fell, all hell broke loose. Megan, racked with guilt, spilled everything to our parents. The affair, Ryan's threats, all of it. The family was in shock. Ryan saying it was an accident. Dad said, his jaw clenched that you tripped and he tried to catch you. That's bullshit. I tried to sit up, wincing at the pain. We know, sweetie, Mom soothed. But without proof. I lay back, seething. How could this be happening? How could Ryan get away with this? Over the next few days, I learned more. The family had initially cut Ryan off, but somehow he was worming his way back in. Crocodile tears, promises of therapy, the whole nine yards. And some of them were buying it. He's family, I overheard Aunt Linda say. We can't just abandon him. I wanted to scream. But as I lay there, a plan started to form. If the family wouldn't see Ryan for who he really was, I'd make damn sure the rest of the world did. As soon as I was released from the hospital, I called my best friend Alex. Alex, I need your help. We're going to take Ryan down. I'm in, she said without hesitation. What's the plan? We started digging, into Ryan's past, his work, everything. Alex, bless her, used her IT skills to do some not-so-legal snooping into Ryan's work emails. Jess, you're not going to believe this, Alex said one night, her voice excited. I think Ryan's been embezzling from his firm. Are you serious? I sat up straighter, ignoring the twinge in my arm. Look at these transfers. They're hidden, but they're there. He's been siphoning off money for months. I created an anonymous email account and sent a message to Ryan's fiance. Detailed everything, the affair with Megan, the embezzlement, pushing me down the stairs. I attached copies of the incriminating emails Alex had found. You don't know me, I wrote, but you deserve to know the truth about the man you're planning to marry. As I hit send, I felt a weight lift off my chest. Ryan thought he could get away with everything he'd done but I was about to show him just how wrong he was. Months dragged by and my arm healed, but the emotional scars? They ran deep. Nightmares of falling, panic attacks at the sight of stairs. It was hell. My therapist, Dr. Reyes, became my lifeline. Jessica, recovery isn't linear, she'd remind me. You're doing great. Some days I believed her, others not so much. But I kept at it, one day at a time. Meanwhile, Ryan's world was crumbling. His fiancée dumped him publicly, calling him every name in the book. His law firm launched an investigation. Karma was finally catching up to him. Then came another family gathering, Grandma's birthday. I almost didn't go, but Dr. Reyes encouraged me to face my fears. Big mistake. Ryan cornered me by the punch bowl. Jess, can we talk? I want to apologize. Save it, I cut him off. Your apologies mean nothing to me. His face darkened. You did this, didn't you? 
Ruined my life? I smiled sweetly. Karma's a bitch, cuz. The next day, it was all over the news. Rising star lawyer arrested for embezzlement and fraud. Ryan's smug mugshot plastered across every screen. My phone blew up with family messages. Shock, disbelief, anger. They finally saw Ryan for who he really was. Too little, too late in my book. Megan tried to reach out. Jess, I'm so sorry. For everything. I know, Meg. I sighed. But I'm not ready to forgive yet. Work became my refuge. I threw myself into projects, staying late, coming in early. It paid off. I landed a massive promotion. To Jessica, our new head of digital marketing. My boss raised a glass at the office party. As I looked around at my cheering colleagues, I realized something. I'd outgrown this place. This city, this life. Two weeks later, I was packing up my apartment. New York City was calling my name. You sure about this? Alex asked, helping me tape up boxes. Never been more sure of anything in my life, I grinned. The day I left, I got one last piece of news. Ryan had been sentenced. Fifteen years, no parole, justice finally served. As my plane took off, I felt lighter than I had in months. The New York skyline loomed ahead, full of promise. My phone pinged, a message from Dr. Reyes. Remember, Jessica, your past doesn't define you. Your reaction to it does. I smiled, switching off my phone. She was right. Ryan, Megan, the whole mess. It was behind me now. Ahead? A whole new life just waiting to be lived. As the plane soared higher, I closed my eyes. For the first time in a long time, I wasn't afraid of falling. I was ready to fly. The story has come to an end. Now I've got a question for you. If you were in my shoes, would you have exposed Ryan's affair and crimes, knowing it could tear your family apart? Or would you have kept quiet to maintain family peace? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Your perspective matters, and I'm really curious to hear what you'd do in this situation. If you enjoyed this story and want to hear more like it, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Your support means everything, and it helps me keep bringing you these real, raw stories of survival and justice. Thanks for listening, and I'll catch you in the next video.